Now, these next two questions came in from my review of that Corsair drive the other day, because one of the things that people have come to expect on this channel is more of a hands-on review. What's the user experience going to be like versus just a synthetic benchmark? And uh, both of these folks were kind of disappointed in how I approached that review. And this was actually something that I was thinking about as I was putting it together, because one of the hard things on this particular head-to-head -head comparison is actually showing a difference that's going to matter to most users. Uh, unfortunately, really the only way to give you a good sense as to what the differences are between an M2 NVMe and an M2 SATA is to actually run synthetic benchmarks, and pretty much that is the only way to really demonstrate the comparative, because for most uses, uh, an M2 SATA is probably going to be just fine, and if you can get more capacity for less money and you're not doing anything that really uh, makes use of the high throughput you can get on one of those drives, then you're probably going to be fine with the M2 SATA. One of the biggest jumps you'll ever make is going from a spinning hard drive to an SSD. And in fact, on my gaming machine over there, I've got a bunch of just regular uh, SSD SATA drives in it. I'm not even using NVMe on there. So I think from the standpoint of the user's experience, I think for most users, there's really no immediate need to go to that faster drive unless you're doing things like video encoding or uh, you're somebody who can really notice the difference in load time between <laughs> loading up you know, Microsoft Word or your favorite game on one drive versus the other. You might see some instances where Windows boots a lot quicker, but generally I think you're going to be experiencing things pretty similarly between these two drives, and the synthetic benchmark was really the best way to show the differences between them. I'd love to get your opinions down in the comments below. There are probably NVMe drives that do perform better uh, for the user, especially when it comes to the random read and write scores, and we found in that review that the two were about the same. Uh, so let me know what you think down below. I know a lot of people are really uh, very positive about the Samsung Evo drives, which do have some really good performance across the board. But again, I think for most people, plugging in a regular SATA SSD is going to be a huge bump in performance, especially if you're accustomed to just running with a spinning hard drive now. This channel is brought to you by the LON.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Bill Reiner and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.